bills I was cheated on you know all these different things and you know he never I didn't know him but he knew me you know and he didn't you know he didn't leave me and standing here yeah. and it has so much things that could, uh, you know to say to be grateful for I remember asking him to I say Lord I'm lonely I wanted to bless me to a companion with a husband you know but not somebody from the world somebody who will love you Yes. You know, a God fearing man, and I thank God that you know I'm blessed with a husband that's God fearing this morning. You know that if from the first day that I walk in here, I have that desire. I didn't like weekends before. I didn't like weekends because I had a past, so I didn't like when Friday come. I didn't like it, and now I have that joy that you know when Sunday come to be here to hear the word of the Lord. Sometimes you have questions, and when you hear the word, the message, you just get to answer for me. I love it. It happens to me a lot, and I just want to give God thanks, all the thanks and praise and the glory unto Him. And I thank God for blessing me with this new family. I love you all. <laughs> but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Right, so I just want to encourage you all, you know, when we come together, things happen. You know, we agree, you know, in prayer, and you know, things can happen, so let's not forsake, let's, you know, in Christ, you know, just, you know, be encouraged. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's take a whole step together. Amen. Amen. The manner of some is but exalting one and another. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah for that. Amen. Glory be to God. So, Lord, you said, by my name, in my name, you will cast out devils. Amen. What devil it is that you have working in your house? What problem, listen, what situation you have in your house that you realize, listen, it's going overboard. It was not there, but you're seeing something happening. You're seeing something happening in your children's life. Listen, the government of Trinidad and Tobago, we heard our honorable prime minister three weeks ago in our independence parade. You know what he told the police? He said, listen, why you think you have a licensed firearm? firearm? Why? To deal with those criminals. What's your firearm today? What's your firearm? So if it's Jesus, listen, speak to your situation in the name of Jesus. If your listen, if your children give you problems, listen. Bring them, listen. You lay hands on them in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to leave. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. If you have children, who is in charge of your children? It's, it's God, right? Yes. But who God? Who made those children? You all! And God has given you rights over those children's lives. And if he did, he does, he did give you authority. Hold them and say, listen, I rebuke it. Whatever is the sickness, rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. When they are sleeping, come on, you get up in the night. Listen, don't be lazy. Get up in the night and say, listen, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is holding you down, whatever is coming after your mind, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord give me this child and I will take authority over you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose them. I bind you right now. Loose them in the name of Jesus Christ. What do you think is going to happen? It has to obey because you are not doing it in your name. You are not doing it in the name of Allah. You are not doing it in the name of Krishna. And there is given a name that is above every other name. Ah, the name of Jesus. Every knee shall.
shall bow. Every sickness must bow. In the name of Jesus. That's the power that you have. God has given you power. If you don't mind me sharing. And I think that is a testimony worthy of giving. Sister Aldia, she came, she called. Probably it was last year. And she saw something written on one of the doors. Do you remember? And it was a certain symbol. And she called us. You remember what was the symbol? What was it? Can't remember. But it's an ancient African symbol. That's as much what I remember. And she said, Pastor Brian, I don't care. I don't care. I told him, come and rub it off. Get it out of my door. It may be the door to your room, but listen, it is my house. When you see God is in charge of your house, listen, you don't accept anything that Satan sends your way. Listen, you take authority over it in the name of Jesus. And listen, and listen, Hassan, come on, take it up. Listen, he could grumble, he could mumble how much he wants. He had to get it off. Because there is only one ruler of that household, and that's a name, God, Jesus Christ. Amen. If we don't take it, we will not accept what Satan has to offer. Hallelujah. Because all he has to offer is death. It looks bright, it looks shining, it looks glorious, but at the end of it, listen, it is death. Amen. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. Accept what the Lord says. Amen. Because what he says, it is truth. It is life. There are many times we have seen things coming against our household. We have. You know what we did? It's my wife and I. We say, listen, this thing is happening. We have to pray. And we deal with it in prayer. It is, listen, as Brother Constantine said this morning, this service belongs to the Holy Spirit. Was it just last week we had a family meeting right there? And we were, saying, we were just saying, listen, Satan have a plan. And Satan would have come after us. And we were just sharing with the, with the children because God showed me some things. And I told the children, I told my wife and my children, listen, we are going to be praying in a certain way, as we always do. And we, and we are going to be vigilant. Because Satan has a plan. Let me tell us something. You all know Satan has a plan for you? Yes. Down the road. We can't see down the road. But God can. So God prepares us. And he warns us. Just as in the book of 2 Kings. Syria was planning for Israel. God spoke to the prophet Elisha and revealed the plan to the king of Israel, what, what the king of Syria was planning. When the king of Syria found out, he said, listen, do I have a traitor in my midst that is speaking with the, with the children of Israel or the king of Israel? There are people who don't like you all, who are planning for you all. True. There are people that say Satan is using them to do things. Satan has a plan for your life. But because God loves you so much, and because the steps of a good man are ordered by him, hear what the word of God said in the book of Psalms. 
The secret of the Lord is with them who fears him. So God will tell you the secrets of Satan. And listen, they will wonder, how did you know? But listen, you will know because you have a connection. Amen. You're wrapped up, you're tied up all up with Jesus Christ. His Holy Spirit is with you. Brothers and sisters, Satan coming after us. Satan is coming after us. Look up, listen. Look to your neighbor and say, what's new? What's new? Don't be alarmed by it. As we had in baptism class this morning, God has set, he has set you aside. You are sanctified, you are holy. And because you are holy and sanctified, there's a light on your life. And when there's a light on your life, it makes you an easy target. Because the light is there. And demonic spirits, listen, you see that house? That brother Constantine house? Send some ambushment to that house. You see that Ogis house? Send some ambushment to Ogis house. Amen. Send some ambushment to the Thompson's house. That's what Satan does. Oh, the Johnnies and the Samuels and the Mendezes. And listen, they want Jesus. Send some ambushment. But let me tell you something. When you're standing, according to the song, when you're standing on a solid rock, and you know the power that you got. Come on, say, Satan, you can't prevail. No, no, Satan, you're born to fail. Come on, sing it. If you're standing on a Sunday rock, and you know, and you know the power that you got. Come on, sing it to him. Satan, you can't prevail. Tell him now, Satan, you're born you're standing on a solid rock And you know, and you know the power that you got Oh yes, oh no, Satan you can't bring hey. Hallelujah, Satan you're going to fail Satan, Satan you can't bring hey. Oh, Satan you're going to fail hey. Every ambushment in the name of Jesus Christ it will be cancelled. Listen, you all forget who you all are. You are a child of the king. You know, listen. The world, the obia men, the witch doctors, they listen, they they, they can't see Satan. But they know he's around and they believe in him. And they see Satan working. Now they could see the works of Satan moving through people. But they know he's alive. You know your God is alive. And he's all powerful. So when God speaks, Satan has to listen. That's right. But if you don't use the word what God has spoken, he cannot listen. Because you ain't speaking it. So you need to speak God's word. And let me tell you this one thing. And Satan have to listen. I don't know what it is that is taking place in your house. Listen. This is this, this morning. You know you're called this morning? A prophetic morning. Amen. This morning is just total prophetic. From the moment when the brother came up here. And the brother began to listen. When I saw him in, in, in the most, in a way that I have never seen him, I said, okay, still play the music. But listen, there was something different about this morning. Yes. It just was natural. Yes. And immediately, listen, I said, Lord, take control this morning. Amen. Take control. 
There are some things that is taking place in your house, in your homes. You all got to go home, hold hands as a family, and begin to pray. Break whatever stronghold in the name of Jesus Christ. Break it. Listen, it don't have anything that somebody could speak over your life that it has to come to pass. You have to speak God's word into your, listen, your life that have the first, that listen, God's word have the first and the last say in your life. Amen. Away with whoever, whatever they're saying, whatever they want to see for your life. Listen, that's their business. Amen. You can't stop people from hating you. You can't stop people from not liking you. Listen, you just can't help it. If Satan will watch you and listen, we are made in God's image and his likeness. And Satan don't like that. So if he will come against us just by seeing us and he's in working through people, come on, people, don't study the people. That's why the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness. So when you see people don't like you, don't take it on. Because it's not them. Yes. It's what working in them and through them. Listen, don't let Satan steal your joy. Don't let Satan steal your joy. Come on, look to your neighbor and say, don't let Satan steal your joy. Come on, tell somebody else, don't let Satan steal your joy. Don't, come on, test the world. Don't let Satan steal your joy. Don't. Imagine that. God has given you joy today. It's a privilege and honor to be in the house of the Lord Amen. with his people. Amen. And when they were in one accord, the spirit of the Lord moved like a mighty rushing wind. He did move today. Because we were in one accord. Amen. God is real. God is real. We have the authority. We have the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Be encouraged today. Listen, you are a warrior. You are a conqueror. You are an overcomer. Oh, in the name of the Lord. Sing, I am, I am a warrior. Yes, I am a conqueror. Shoot to kill. 
All you have to do is speak to kill. That's right. That's right. So when they need a popo shotgun or a handgun, all you have to do is speak God's word. He said, for what? For the word of God, it is quick. Yes. It is powerful. It is sharp. So in those days, what they use? Sword. So in these days, in our times, what they're using? Guns. What they're using? Nuclear. Nuclear bombs. It's nuclear war. So, so as the Americans will say, so Putin could do whatever he wants. Kim Jong Un could do whatever he wants. But I know that my God, when I speak God's word, it is more powerful than your nuclear weapon in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the Turkey president says. It doesn't matter what the Iranian president says. It doesn't matter what on, on the banks of Palestine. Whatever they do, my God is all powerful. And I believe what he says. And that settles it. Amen. His word is powerful. Yes. Use his word. Amen. Use his word. Amen. Listen, use his word. I am healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. I get the pain. I am healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I cannot move. Listen, I will move in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, my back is pain. Listen, in the name of Jesus Christ. Back, come on. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed by his stripes, by his cuts, by his bruises. I am healed in the name of Jesus Christ. He died for me. I'm healed. I don't care. Listen, I'm feeling as if I cannot move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can do it. I can do all things in the name of Jesus Christ. I am healed. In the name of Jesus, the of Jesus Christ. Don't lose what God has given to you. Keep it. It is yours. It is yours. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's give him a clap. This Hallelujah. God is good. We are the bride of Jesus. For when God is coming for a church, he's coming for a church without spot. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 16, he says, Be holy. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14, it says, Without holiness, we cannot see the face of God. This is not a time to get ready but to. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. God is real. Give him a shout. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good.